Hey everybody, this is Steve Winward, and today I want to show you the new feature that just shipped with the January 2021 release of Power BI Report Server, which is our on-premise version of Power BI. We now support the capability that you can integrate with Esri ArcGIS Enterprise with Power BI Report Server. We've had this functionality with our Power BI Cloud Service, but customers have been asking for a while, when will this show up in Power BI Report Server? And I'm really excited to say that today you can now do that with the January 2021 release of Power BI Report Server. So I'm going to switch over to my laptop and I'll show you how this works in action. So I have the January 2021 release of Power BI Desktop 4 Report Server installed on this VM that we're looking at here. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to populate this report with some C data that we can work with with the ArcGIS visual. So let's go ahead and go to Enter Data. And now I'm just going to put a couple different cities with uh, some information here. So we'll say San Francisco, and we'll give it a value of 50. We'll say Chicago, we'll give it a value of 75. And then we'll also say Washington, DC, and we'll give it a value of 25. We'll go ahead and load that into the Power BI report. So now that data is pulled into the model, the next thing I want to do is I want to actually create a visual with the ArcGIS visual here. So we'll go ahead and click on the ArcGIS maps. And now we can see that I'm already signed in with an account with my Esri information. The one thing that you want to keep in mind here is that you want to use your Esri credentials for that particular visual. If you wanted to switch accounts, you could click on switch account right here, and then it gives you the prompt. So you can see that you have the choice to go to ArcGIS online or you can go to ArcGIS Enterprise, which will be your own organization's instance of ArcGIS. And then from there, what you would want to do is actually use the portal that you have set up for your organization, and then you'll sign in with your Esri credentials for that as well. This is the sign-in experience that you'll see for Esri once you specify what the portal URL is for your instance. Okay, so now I'm signed in with that account to my Esri instance. Let's go ahead and start binding data to this visual now. So we'll click on the visual. We're gonna drag the city into location. And now Esri is going to do the geocoding for those cities to put those dots on a map. And then the next thing that I wanna do here is I wanna bind the value that I put assigned to each of the cities. And I'm gonna put that to the size of the bubble that's showing up on the map. Okay, so now we can see that Chicago is the biggest bubble with the largest value of 75. I'm also going to add just a table visual here just to show that the Esri visual works just like any other visual in Power BI where everything is very interactive and dynamic. So let's go ahead and add a table visual here. And I'm just going to put the city and value information onto that table. But the thing I want to highlight here is that if I were to choose one of the cities in the table, you'll see that the Esri visual updates with that as well just like we would expect with all the other visuals in Power BI. The next thing I want to do is I want to save this to my Power BI Report Server instance. So we're going to go to File, Save As, we'll choose Power BI Report Server. I've already specified what my Power BI Report Server instance is, so we'll say OK. We'll give it a name, we'll say My First Esri Report. Okay, and so now this is saving this from my local machine to the Power BI Report Server instance. And let's go ahead and see what this looks like through the browser. So now this is looking at Power BI Report Server through the browser. We're looking at that same report we just used on the desktop to create that. So if I were to click on an element in the table, for example, Chicago, we notice that the Esri visual also updates to reflect that as well. The last thing I wanted to call out was that there is a call out for the supported browsers that work with the integration of Power BI Report Server and Esri ArcGIS Enterprise. And now there is an asterisk by Internet Explorer 11. What I found in my own testing is that I could not get Internet Explorer 11 to work. I tried adding the endpoint for my ArcGIS Enterprise URL as a trusted site. That did not seem to work. However, Edge worked beautifully, and that's what I showed in the demo. So if you're running into issues with Power BI Report Server and Esri ArcGIS Enterprise, the first thing to do is check the browser you're using. 
If you're using Internet Explorer, that may be the reason why it's failing. Try switching over to Edge or Chrome or Firefox and you'll probably have a better experience. So thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you have thoughts or ideas on future videos you'd like to see, please feel free to put them in the comments below.